What's up guys, it's your Fit Doc, aka Kristen Small, and I'm back with your weekly dose of medicine. Today, I'm going to make this video short and sweet. As you can tell by the title of this video, I'm going to be going over how I set up my Anki remote. Uh, so if you are interested, keep watching. So I bought this thing off Amazon for like $20. It comes in different colors, I think blue, yellow, and I think like a pink purplish type color anyways i decided to go blue but this is what it looks like uh and it comes with a little string so you can like hold it and carry it whatever so i'm gonna get right into it um i know that you're not coming here to waste time so it's called the 8-bit dough looks like this and it has l letters x y there's different letters right on this remote control and so what I did first was I was pairing it with my keyboard because I use Anki on my keyboard. I can use it on my iPad and my phone, but I really just use it on my keyboard whenever I'm studying. So to start off, you're going to press the start button as well as the right button. So there's like a right click button and a left click button, like these buttons right here. And so you're going to hit the right button and the start button. You're going to hold it down um, until it starts to blink. So you'll see it kind of like turning blue. Like you'll see the light. Y'all see that light? Once you see this light, you're gonna hit select this button right here. You're gonna hold that down um, until the light starts to blink like this, okay? And, and whenever that happens, that is whenever you are actually gonna be pairing your device. So that after you hit select and the light is blinking, you're gonna go into your Bluetooth settings you're going to click 8-bit dough and you're going to connect and then your computer should say connected and if you see like controller as another option disconnect from that and 8-bit dough should pop up if you have to redo these steps by hitting the right button and the start button to restart it and hit select again it should show up at some point if you do it twice over again but once it starts to blink it should connect with your computer after you hit your bluetooth and click on 8-bit dough and you should be set as far as it being connected once you connect it you're going to go into your notes you're going to go into your notes app if you have a macbook air or macbook pro if you have windows or anything like that then you're just going to go into a web browser where you can basically type and then you're going to hit these buttons all these buttons correspond with some button on your keyboard. You're going to hit all these buttons. These buttons are going to show up on your keyboard. You're going to figure out which button corresponds to what. Now, once you figure out what buttons correspond with what buttons on your keyboard, I want y'all to pay close attention to the Anki app because there are different choices for your flashcards that correspond with certain letters on your keyboard. I'm going to put up a quick screenshot of the different reviewer choice options for Anki and what my keyboard specifically is correlated with as far as Anki is concerned. What I mean by that is there's try again, there's good, there's easy, and then there's hard, right, for Anki. But you have to you have to understand which buttons correspond with those choices. That way you're not clicking on a card and really you're trying to hit that it's easy, but then you keep hitting try again, and then before you know it, you're doing the same card over and over again. I felt like I needed to say that because other videos that I watched did not say that at all. So I was very confused as to how I knew which choices were which. So I'm gonna put up a, a quick screenshot about what choices in Anki go with what buttons on your keyboard. That way you can correspond the buttons on the keyboard with the Anki buttons that we're messing with now. After we have opened up our notes and we have understood what buttons correspond with the buttons on the keyboard, we're gonna open up Anki, okay? We're gonna go open up Anki, go into your tools, go to your add-ons. I have an add-on code right here on the screen. You're gonna add this code to your Anki app you're going to shut down your Anki app. You're going to open it back up. You're going to go back to tools, go back to add-ons, configure. After you hit the configure button, you're going to go scroll all the way down to reviewer choice options. These are your try again, hard, easy, and good. I like to hold my remote like this. I don't like to hold it like this because it just is too many. I don't want to have my two hands on the remote. It's my, my hands are too big for the remote. So I hold my remote like this. So I want it my buttons to look like this easy good 
hard try again and this is the space button that way i can just hit easy good hard 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 whenever i'm going through my questions right so that means i needed to correlate this button a with the number four because that correlates with easy on my keyboard because that number four correlates with easy so all i did was i went into reviewer choice i correlated the button that corresponded with my keyboard originally when we went to the notes app and I just put that letter in and I took the number four out, put the letter in, and I did that for all of these options, right? That was all that was all I did for reviewer choice. Now you may run into an issue with the easy button because I I did and my one of my friends did where this button for some reason was not working on my Anki cards. I was trying to press easy and it was not corresponding with the button that I was pressing. So that's whenever I use the Carabiner Element app. I went ahead and I downloaded the Carabiner Element app. People use other apps, but I use this app. And what I did was I went in to my keyboard. I had to make sure that my Bluetooth was still connected to the 8-bit dough. And all I did was hit the original key that wasn't working. And I just basically changed the key to what I wanted my actual keyboard to respond with. So if we go back into my notes, that letter, the easy button, correlated with the letter G on my keyboard, on my MacBook Air keyboard. But I want that easy button to correlate with Q because for some reason my button, my G button wasn't working. So all I did was I went to the Carabiner app, I switched out G to Q because I was like, well, Q may work. Went back into my deck, okay, and then just changed the review choice to Q instead of G, which it was originally. But G wasn't working for some reason. And you may run into an issue where there may already be like another letter for some shortcut that was already configured in here. All you have to do is just change that letter to something else. Like I did like two parentheses for one. Like I just changed, I changed it the way I could still use my buttons. So that shouldn't be an issue. But if you come across a button that's not working, you can use the Carabiner app for that. And you can just substitute it in like that. That was pretty much how I set up my Anki remote. And then, um, yeah, I just went into my bugs Anki deck because I'm preparing for step one, even though it's not until like... February. I'm doing my bugs and drugs. I'm doing my sketchy micro and sketchy farm because I'm not playing any games and I'm not taking extended time. So I just went in there and um, I got to work and it, it literally works like perfectly. So I wanted to get this video. I wanted to, it to be a little bit more detailed because I feel like all the other videos that I watched did not give me the right details. I feel like I was confused. This is definitely an Anki remote for dummies. And I hope that I helped you all today, but that was all that I did. I didn't necessarily need the Carabiner Element app until the end. All, really, all I did was just use the Configure add-on, um, and that was it. So, I hope this video helped. Um, please, if it did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all in my next video. Hope this helped.